Gojinka dramas of Oshima tell the tale of their island, a history of major eruptions every century or so. But this latest explosion was one of the most severe ever, sending a fountain of fire one and a half kilometers high and a cloud of ash 16 kilometers into the sky. Accompanied by almost continuous earthquakes, the volcano roared for a week, forcing the mass evacuation of all 10,000 people who live on the island. Regenerative braking is not a new concept, but until this one was developed, previous systems were too heavy, too noisy, and too expensive, and generally not suitable for passenger vehicles. And weighing in at 22 pounds, we have one of tonight's favourites, Juan, dressed in his silver and maroon. You may not have noticed, but Juan is in fact a robot. So like all jockeys, he has nerves of steel and an iron will. The horse, however, is real, although it's a slightly scaled down version of a traditional thoroughbred. It's a little like Astro Boy meets National Velvet. It might look stressful, but in fact the machine has drastically reduced the mortality rate in comparison to work carried out by hand. The chicks are placed onto the moving conveyor belt where their heads are immobilized by this bar, the pressure from which is only minimal. They are then vaccinated, their beaks are trimmed, and they receive eye drops in a process that takes a maximum of three and a half seconds. This particular machine has done nearly four and a half million chicks. It doesn't feel greasy at all, but the extraordinary thing about it is that during the day, as you rub your face, or even if you laugh, the micro sponges are reactivated and the fragrance and the moisturizer is released. 